Minimalism is all about simplifying your life and letting go of the things that don't add meaning anymore to your day-to-day -day life. Only keeping what truly adds joy or meaning to your life. And I'm here to tell you the easiest guide to declutter and embrace minimalism. I've been practicing minimalism since about 2018 and I came across many different methods for decluttering your home. But there's a very simple one that stuck with me. In today's video, I want to use our closet as an example for decluttering using this method. First of all, start by removing everything from your closet and put it in different sections. For example, one section for your sweaters, one section for your tops and bottoms, another one for your underwear, and another one for your socks, for example. This organization allows you to tackle it one by one and ask yourself for every item, have you worn it within the last three months? If the answer is yes, you can confidently put it back in your closet. If the answer is no, be completely honest with yourself and put it in a separate box or drawer. This separation allows you to distinguish between the things you regularly wear and the things you don't. It is important to consider seasonal changes as well. So I recommend to always do this process when transitioning in between seasons. For example, autumn or spring. By doing so, you can have an organized closet with things you actually wear. Once you have completed this progress, you will probably have a pile of clothes you haven't worn in the past three months. Rather than donating these things immediately, put them out of sight. For the next three months, solely live out your closet and only use the clothes you have in there. This approach truly tests if you actually need one of the things you have stored in a box away. For example, if you suddenly have to dress for a nice dinner and you know you have a very nice shirt which is in this box stored away. You can go back to the box, get it out and wear it for your dinner and afterwards put it back to your closet. However, if another three months go by and you have this wrinkly old t-shirt that you have not worn anymore, it's time to donate it. This method ensures that you're slowly transitioning into your new closet and also makes sure you're not throwing away things you actually need or even worse, repurchasing things you have just gave away. It provides a very easy and flexible solution to organize your closet without feeling the pressure of only having a certain number of items in your closet. You can apply the same method through every single section in your house. For example, for your shoes, your kitchen items, kitchen appliances, pens and papers, and much more. Separate the items into different categories and ask yourself, have you used it the past three months? If not, put it in a separate container or box and repeat this process over and over again to keep your house clutter-free. By following this guide, you will have a clutter-free home, but also you always have the option to go back and get an item you suddenly need. This way, we ensure we're only getting rid of things you truly don't need anymore and that you will not miss in a few months. We have to drop the idea that minimalism is about living with only a few items at hand. Minimalism looks different for everyone and that is fine. Someone can live with only five t-shirts, another one maybe needs 20. This is fine as long as you use the items you have in your home. Let me know if you have another guide you live by that I should know of and as an appreciation of you guys, here is my favorite comment from the past week. With that being said, thanks so much for watching and have a great one.